Hi guys, Gabby here from Your Golf Travel. Hopefully you've managed to enjoy a little bit of sunshine or do a little bit of chipping and putting in your house during lockdown. Obviously, um, chat has turned a little bit towards golf courses opening up again soon. Um, probably more likely to be local courses to start with, but hopefully that will branch out sooner rather than later. So I got to thinking about what course I wanted to play as soon as lockdown is over and I also thought I'd ask a few people their opinions too. Right guys, so I've been asked by my friend Gabby at Your Golf Travel to nominate a place where I would choose to play golf as soon as this whole lockdown period is over. And while it's tempting to go with some bucket list kind of options like Pebble Beach and places like that, I think I'm gonna keep it fairly local, um, fairly easily within reach of where I live here in London. And I'm gonna to go to Prince's Golf Club in Kent. So firstly, Prince's is within two hours drive of where I live. Um, I absolutely love Lynx Golf. So I think a Lynx Golf course, hopefully within the bounds of kind of summerish type months, if this thing ends sooner rather than later, would be a nice place to go. And I think for value for money, um, it's very, very hard to beat a stay and play kind of visit to Prince's Golf Club. I think if you wanna spend a little bit more money, you can obviously check in the likes of Royal St. George's and Royal St. Ports, both of which basically share the same patch of land as Prince's Golf Club. But Prince's itself has 27 holes, an amazing lodge where you can stay. You've got easy access to charming seaside towns like Deal and Sandwich, where you can go out, get a bit of fish and chips, visit some local pubs, that kind of stuff. Uh, or just spend your evening at the uh, the Lodge at Princess itself, which is an awesome little B&B hotel kind of setup. So, yeah, I think for ease of access, value for money, bit of Lynx Golf, as I said, you can add on Royal St. Ports and Royal St. George's if you want to spend a little bit more money as well. Um, yeah, I think it's tough to beat a nice couple of days on the Lynx with the sun on your back. And for that reason, I'm going to go Princess Golf Club. The first golf course I will play when lockdown ends anywhere, to be quite honest. It'll probably be somewhere close. Worsley Marriott's only down the road. I play there quite a lot. I've got loads of mates there. We'll turn up, we'll have a cup of tea, bit of a chat, head to the range, hit a few balls, a few putts, and then get out there. I'm sure someone will wang it into the trees on the first hole and the banter will start. We'll play a few. I'll probably start analyzing my swing after about four holes get to the tent, have a quick beverage, finish the round, maybe a bit tired because we're not used to being outside for so long and walking so far, and then head into the clubhouse, see who's took the money and have a couple of more drinks. I am missing the social aspect of golf, I'm missing the walking, and I'm missing seeing that ball flight. No matter where it goes, oh, I just can't wait to get back. Hi everybody, so I think the first golf course I play after lockdown will probably be Close House. Um, 
obviously because I'm attached there, uh, and that's where I go and do all my practice. Um, but I will be straight up there, probably with my son Sam. Um, he, he is itching to play, and uh, hopefully it won't be too long. So see you out on a golf course soon. I also did a little poll or question on Twitter a few weeks back just asking you guys where you wanted to play and to list your top five courses once lockdown is over. Um, so it's been quite interesting going through those responses. There's been some shout outs to your local courses, which big love to local and home courses. Um, definitely want to keep those going. Um, but there's also been ones um, within the UK that aren't too far to get to. Um, so yeah, let's have a quick look. Okay, so we had this top five list from Chris, um, who clearly loves a Lynx golf course. He's got Royal Doorknock and Castle Stewart in there. Um, great courses, man after my own heart with a Lynx course, love there. Um, but he's also featured Sunningdale Old, um, which is often found in the top 100 courses in the world. Heard it's pretty pure, need to get there myself. Another mention of Sunningdale here, so it's clearly quite a popular course, um, but what actually caught my eye from Danny's list is needing to play King's Barns again, but sober. Personally, I play a little bit better after some birdie juice, Danny, but any excuse for another round at an epic golf course gets the thumbs up from me. Old Head has made a few lists um, now, including Rich's, and to be fair, I can see why. I'm a sucker for a view, um, and Old Head certainly delivers on that front. He also mentioned the Berkshire, which I actually visited um, with YGT last year. Hi guys, I'm Rory. I've been joined here at the Berkshire Golf Club today by Mr. Paul McGinley. Uh, thank you for coming along, Paul. Thank you. Try that again. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, my name's Rory. Uh, I've been joined here today at the Berkshire Golf Club by Mr. Paul McGinley. Thank you for coming down, Paul. Thank you, Rory. Done it again. <laughs> <laughs> Henry's top five list really made me laugh, and to be fair to him, I've heard the European Club is an absolute beauty. Um, it's got the Irish Sea as a backdrop. Um, I hear it's pretty pure. Um, from the back tees, it plays over 7,000 yards, and I've heard the greens are what really make it. Um, so Henry, I hope you get out there soon. So it's a pretty good collection of courses that we've gone through there, but we want to know what yours are. Drop us your top five post lockdown courses in the comments below. And if you're not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on our latest vlogs as soon as we're back out on the course. Fingers crossed that soon. <laughs>